Respiration Respiration is a kind of chemical reaction that takes place inside the cells to release energy from nutrients like glucose. Aerobic Respiration In some organisms, oxygen is needed for the process of respiration. This kind of respiration is called aerobic respiration. So the respiration that takes place in the presence of the oxygen is called aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, one glucose molecule splits into two pyruvic acid molecules. This step takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Now, this pyruvic acid molecules enter the mitochondria. Inside the mitochondria, these pyruvic acid molecules turn into water and carbon dioxide. In this step, energy is released. The energy released during the process of respiration is used to make ATP molecules. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. Let's see how an ATP molecule is made. This is adenosine diphosphate. That means it is ADP. It has two phosphates in its chain. And this is an inorganic phosphate. The energy released during respiration reaction is utilized here to join the inorganic phosphate to ADP and forms the ATP. It has three phosphates. That means the energy derived from the respiration is stored in the chemical bond of terminal phosphate of ATP. When the terminal phosphate linkage in ATP is broken using water, the energy equivalent to 30.5 kJ per mole is released. This ATP molecule serves as the primary source of energy for various cellular activities. ATP can be used in the cells for the contraction of muscles, protein synthesis, conduction of nerve impulses and for many other activities. For this reason, the ATPs are called as cell currency. Anaerobic Respiration In some organisms, oxygen is not needed for respiration. This type of respiration is called anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, less ATP are released compared to aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is observed in organisms like in bacteria and in yeast. Sometimes, even in our bodies, anaerobic respiration takes place. While doing vigorous exercise, the oxygen levels decrease in our muscle cells. This leads to oxygen deprivation and leads to anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, pyruvic acid molecules turns into lactic acid by releasing energy. The build of this lactic acid in the muscle tissue due to anaerobic respiration leads to muscle soreness or muscle pain. Alcoholic Fermentation In organisms like yeast, during anaerobic respiration, pyruvic acid molecules are converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process is called as alcoholic fermentation. We can observe alcoholic fermentation with the help of an activity. Take some fruit juice or sugar solution and add some yeast to it. Take this mixture in a test tube fitted with one whole cork. Fit the cork with a bent glass tube. Dip the free end of the glass tube into a test tube containing freshly prepared lime water. Fermentation takes place and the carbon dioxide gas is produced. It turns the lime water milky. Aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration and alcoholic fermentation. Among these three processes, the energy that is released in aerobic respiration is higher. But for the process of aerobic respiration, a continuous supply of oxygen is needed. Then how do aerobic organisms get the continuous supply of oxygen? It is done by breathing. Breathing. Plants have small pores on their leaves called stomata for the exchange of gases. Animals need special respiratory organs for the exchange of gases. We know that animals live on both land and in water. Terrestrial animals breathe the oxygen present in the air. Aquatic animals get the dissolved oxygen present in the water. Aquatic organisms have a faster breathing rate compared to terrestrial organisms because the amount of dissolved oxygen in water is relatively low. Fishes, for example, draw water into their mouths and then push it over their gills. Here the blood absorbs the dissolved oxygen from the water. Then how do terrestrial animals like humans get the oxygen? 
Let us see. Human respiratory system, structure and function. Human respiratory system is well designed to breathe oxygen from the atmosphere. Human respiratory system begins with a pair of nostrils. Air enters the nose through these nostrils. Thin hairs present in the nasal passage filters the dust particles that we breathe in. The nasal cavity is lined by mucus and it makes the air moist and humid. Now, this moist air enters the windpipe. Windpipe is also called as trachea. It is supported by C-shaped cartilaginous rings. These rings support the trachea and helps to keep it open position all the time. Windpipe divides into two branches. These branches are called bronchi. They are further divided into fine branches called bronchioles. Finally, these bronchioles are attached to small balloon-like structures. These balloon-like structures are called alveoli. Exchange of Gases The wall of the alveoli is only one cell thick and it has a network of blood capillaries. Here, the exchange of gases takes place between the blood and alveoli. The blood that comes from the body parts has more carbon dioxide in it. The air that enters the alveoli has more oxygen in it. Due to this difference of concentration, the exchange of gases takes place between the blood and the alveoli. The oxygen that is collected into the blood is transported by a pigment called as hemoglobin, which is present in the RBC of blood. Carbon dioxide is transported by blood in dissolved state. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.